What's up, everyone? We're on to the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. I have them number one in the power rankings. It's hard not to uh, after the year they had and uh, getting some guys back like Rob Gronkowski. But, uh, you know, it's a team that had a, a very good season. They had uh, depth all across the board. It definitely helped that they uh, played in the much weaker conference. They had a pretty easy path to the Super Bowl, not to take anything away from them, but, uh, you know, they played the Texans team without their best player and J.J. Watt, and then they played the Steelers without their best player, Le'Veon Bell. Uh, but then they, they go and have a tremendous second-half performance against the Falcons. I think this team is definitely going to have to make some improvements if they want to get back because the AFC itself is going to take a big step forward next year just with injuries uh, and such. But the Patriots will be right back in it. They are rightfully so. Super Bowl favorites going into next year. So let's take a look at the roster. Uh, at quarterback, um, Tom Brady goes up just a little bit uh, to a 97. I mentioned him and Aaron Rodgers, 97 and 98, which is going to set them apart from the rest of the quarterbacks. Not necessarily from uh, the other elite guys, but definitely from like your Andy Daltons who have been lowered down to like a 76 uh, so that's a big reason I do these rosters is so that you can really tell the difference between the elite quarterbacks and the non-elite quarterbacks. Uh, and then Jimmy Garoppolo, I think, has a very bright future, whether it's in New England or somewhere else. I really was impressed with his games, especially against uh, Miami. He looked fantastic. On to the running backs. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt goes down. He's more of a product of, of this offense. He's still, a, you know, a powerful running back, but he's definitely a one-trick pony, uh, which is the reason his overall should not be an 86. And then Deion Lewis and James White, these guys are awesome. Uh, I've been more of a fan of Deion Lewis than James White throughout their career, uh, but James White definitely getting some confidence and growing as a player. His Super Bowl performance was good, but... I don't think there were many plays where I was really impressed with him as a player. He's a really smart guy. He's a good blocker. But uh, I think Deion Lewis is better as a running back, better making better at making guys miss, and better between the tackles. Uh, anyway, on to the receivers. Uh, Julian Edelman, uh, the one true stud among these guys. Chris Hogan's fine. Uh, you know, he was like an 81, though, and I don't think he's – He's that good. He's definitely a solid player. And then the rest of these guys, Malcolm Mitchell definitely intrigues me. I think he's a really smart player. Uh, and then Michael Floyd, going to be on his way out, I believe. And he goes down. He, he was still like a 76 or a 77. Um, he's got a long way to go before he's a starting caliber player in the NFL again. At tight end, uh, you know, Gronk, I move him down uh, away from that 99 overall. And then Martellus Bennett is a free agent. My prediction is Martellus Bennett is going to go to Seattle. I think Seattle's going to move on from Jimmy Graham and uh, bring in Martellus Bennett. He's a much better blocker. And, of course, his brother plays in Seattle. Uh, so just an interesting prediction there. This offensive line is, is very good. Uh, it's fun because these interior guys are all really, uh, really solid, strong run blockers, and they're all pretty young. Uh, so all these guys really uh, going up, except for uh, Shaq Mason goes down a little bit. I think um, he was rated a little too high as a pass blocker uh, originally, but I did move up his, his impact blocking. Uh, he's awesome at pulling and, and taking guys out. Joe Thune had a good year. He goes up, and so does David Andrews. So uh, a very intriguing interior line, and then the tackles have been great. Uh, Volner was hurt. Marcus Cannon did a great job stepping in. Under the defense, this was an overrated group, in my opinion. They were the, the, technically the number one scoring defense, but I think we saw them get exposed in that Super Bowl. Uh, but, you know, Jabal Shear definitely did not uh, reenact his performance from 2016, where he had double digit sacks. He's not even really a starter at this point. This depth chart is kind of hard to do because they run so many different formations. Um, you know, Chris Long was probably more of a starter than Trey Flowers, or not uh, Trey Flowers, but Jabal Sheard. Um, 
but I wasn't necessarily impressed with Chris Long in the season. Trey Flowers, their best pass rusher, so they're going to have to, I think, get better at that uh, if they really want to get back to the Super Bowl next season. And then uh, the D tackles are great. Alan Branch, I had to move him up. He's been really good the last two seasons. And uh, Malcolm Brown, a, a good young player as well. The linebackers, again, just uh, some good depth, but not really, I mean, outside of Dante Hightower, of course. But, uh, you know, Ninkovich, just a very smart player, but has lost a step in his game. Uh, Landon Roberts was an intriguing rookie who, who didn't really uh, live up to all the hype after they traded away Jamie Collins. Uh, Kyle Van Noy uh, was okay as a cover linebacker. Shane McClellan had, had his had his role as well. But Dante Hightower, really the one guy I moved up. He's a total stud. He's about to get paid a lot of money uh, to be the head guy for New England going into next season. Uh, the corners, not a ton of movement here. A very good secondary. And then Devin McCourty, a great cover safety. Uh, and then Patrick Chung goes up. He's still their starting strong safety. He was rated like a 74 overall. He might struggle in coverage, but he's awesome as that kind of thumping strong safety that they'll play in the box. And then Deron Harmon uh, definitely plays back. They run a lot of sets where they're playing McCourty, Chung, and Harmon. So I guess I understand why Madden had moved Harmon up um, above Chung, but Chung is still a better player than Harmon, just not as good in coverage. Um, so that's going to conclude the uh, look at the Patriots. Number one team going into the next season. Um, but I would not be surprised if, if they don't go back to the Super Bowl. I, I'm not going to be picking them to go back to the Super Bowl, I don't believe. Um, but, man, this team was, was just keeps doing it, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, so that's going to do it for the Patriots. we got the Raiders coming up next. That'll be a fun team to talk about. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out, helps me get the roster better when you guys – uh, give me comments and thanks to the guys that have uh, pointed out things that I need to fix. So peace out guys. We'll see you next time.